Never underestimate the power of example. Rachel Notley's NDP victory in Alberta is something larger than just the overturning of one of the longest ruling dynasties in Canadian politics, or the debut of the, one of the most superlative beards of any sitting politician, Shea Anderson's. His whisker is a wonder. Tom Mulcair's is just a starter beard compared to this foliage, a rival to the face follicles of the Smith brothers peddling their cough syrup, or the great famous outcrop of the editor of the Oxford Dictionary, James Murray. No, the Alberta triumph has sent a jolt through the wider currents of national politics, more than the debate about debates, more than the endless unwinding of senatorial malpractice and entitlement, not least decimation of the Alberta Tories, its thoroughness, she thrashed them, its shock value, the NDP in Alberta, has injected the coming national election with fresh and unpredictable energies. The somewhat careless script to date was a contest between the Liberals and the Tories, a Trudeau versus Harper script. Given the fact that Tom Mulcair and his NDP A were the official opposition and B gifted with far more seats than the Liberals, this was always more of an embrace of a dramatic storyline than a close read of the facts. The Notley quake reminded everyone that voters have their own minds, that scripts belong to TV dramas, not politics, and that, most crucially, when people get tired of politics as usual and the usual politics, they will make themselves heard in unpredictable ways. It's one of the curiosities of all this that Thomas Mulcair goes into the fall operating from a stronghold in Quebec, reinforced by a moral victory in Alberta. This takes some getting used to, a Quebec-Alberta NDP axis. Now, it may not result in Alberta seats for the NDP. The larger consideration, however, is that Notley's victory gives the federal leader and his party a second launch, a fresh look from the voters all over the country at the very most strategic moment. No joy for the Harper Conservatives. This was Jim Prentice who lost. Jim Prentice, one of the few national conservative figures thought to have general appeal, and even at one time considered a possible successor to Mr. Harper himself. Weariness is setting in with a vengeance when a man of that standing loses to a novice from the left in a province that for four decades had time for neither. Of course, Thomas Mulcair cannot be rising without someone, forgive the word, dipping. The scene shift is a bomb blast to the Trudeau campaign. The long debut is over. The glamour moment faded. Now it's time for the youngest leader to prove he has more than name, fame, and buzz. Nor can the Liberals simply rely on aversion to Stephen Harper as their trump card anymore. Now it's as much Mr. Mulcair's. The Notley Awakening has reconfigured the federal race. It has inspired the NDP, given a clear warning to the Liberals to shake off their complacency, and told the ruling Tories that nothing in politics is a given, that change is the strongest energy, and that old patterns can disappear in a ballot box minute. And oh yes, beware of a man with a beard. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.